Flipping the Classroom at Tejeda. The purpose of this video is to inform you of the new model of teaching that Tejeda will begin implementing this year. We are very excited to begin on this journey with you and your student. In a traditional classroom like the ones you or I grew up in, students sit in rows or groups facing the front of the class and listen to the teacher present the lesson for most of the class period. They are assigned a set of practice problems or questions to bring home to do individually for homework. Then they come back to class the next day to follow the same routine. We have come to find that this is not always the best way to help our students learn for many reasons. Let's discuss three of them. Reason number one, students all learn at different paces. When a class is taught using the traditional lecture method, there are many students who do just fine. They understand it quickly and then want the teacher to move on. When the teacher can't move on as quickly as they would like, they get bored. Then there are students who learn at a slower pace and need more time than is given in class to process the information. Reason number two. Students often bring home practice problems or questions for homework that they don't quite know how to do or answer just yet. This means that they just write down a bunch of words and or numbers to try to make it look like they did it or they copy a friend's the next day. Either way, the homework ends up not helping the student learn the material in any way and it becomes a waste of time. Reason number three. Students miss class throughout the year for a variety of reasons. Many times, missing a lesson is a big deal because the lessons often build on one another. The student has to come in on their own time to learn the lesson and the teacher has to re-explain the whole lesson to the student. This is not an efficient use of anyone's time. All of these problems can be resolved with the flipped classroom. So what is the flipped classroom? I'm just going to give the very basics. What was normally done in school is now done at home, meaning students look at the lessons at home via video. They can watch these videos on their computer or mobile device. They take notes during the video, making sure to pause, rewind, rewatch, or fast forward as needed. They learn the lesson fully at their own pace and are in charge of their own learning. They may take notes of questions or concerns they have after watching the video, and these can be discussed thoroughly with peers and the teacher in class the following day. Students are not expected to master the content just by watching the video but they are expected to understand the basics and bring confusing topics to class to get clarification. So what do the students do in class? This is the exciting part. Students will be able to participate in discussions about the topic they are learning and get their questions answered by their teacher and their peers. They will still do most of the normal practice problems or questions they would have done at home except now they will have help whenever they need it so they don't get as frustrated. Any questions they have are answered right away because the teacher is able to work one-on-one -on -one with students or work in small groups to ensure mastery of the concept. Because of the extra time we will have, students can work on higher level activities such as analyzing the problems, applying the concepts, evaluating their work and the work of others, and creating their own material to share. The flipped classroom is a much more exciting and engaging environment to be in, and students have an active role in their learning, rather than sitting back and listening to a teacher talk all period. Created using Powtoon.